Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Finally filming my empties on a Thursday, which is the day my week ends, um, just because that's what works for me. Hopefully I will upload it tonight. I don't know. I am off from work tomorrow, not because we don't have school, but because I requested it off a while ago because I have appointments and things like that that I just couldn't schedule for after school. So I feel like I have a little extra energy tonight knowing that I don't have to be at school tomorrow. So we will start with a candle. I only have one. This is a Homeworks candle. It's Country Apple Butter. I have burned this one before. It is caramel apple, sweet vanilla, and toasted nut. This to me Mm, it's just a delicious sweetened apple. I don't want to say candied, um, but not like your straight up like orchard apple. A little bit caramel, I guess, which I'm not the biggest fan of that. Um, but in the gorgeous hobnail, oh, I just love it. Um, and you will see that there are little bits of flower petals in here. This was right near a vase that had my weekly flower bouquet in and they just kind of fell in here and I didn't bother to pick them out. But seriously, minus the, um, Oh my gosh, the flowers, it burned so flawless. This was a fantastic scent. Just perfect for me for fall. Um, I think this is the last, ooh, the last one in this scent that I have, but it is great. And I would, re, would re, repurchase it again. Excuse the naked fingernails. Um, I am doing my first Scentsy like vendor event on Saturday, and um, I didn't want to do my nails and then have to do them again. So <laughs> I'm gonna do them tomorrow. I think I just I'm very hard on my nails, you know, with cleaning and dishes and stuff like that, and I just didn't want to risk chipping anything. So. They're naked right now. Okay. What else? Another non-wax empty. We have some cotton cleanups. Love, love, love these. They're in my club and will probably forever be there. I'm just going to stick the stuff into this, into my bag where I keep my wax empties. Um, we went, I went, we, like anybody else fills my warmers, it's me. Um, some scoop -a ball in Dove, which not a ton. I mean, I just kind of use a little bit of it here and there. This, I think I said it before. I don't love this the first day. It doesn't smell like Dove soap to me on the first day. And I honestly, I don't know what it smells like, but on day two, it definitely smells like Dove soap. This is, um, very strong. I put some of this in my half bath on the first floor. I have a cute little, I think it's like a 15 watt, um, Sensi wall, you know, like nightlight warmer. And so this really pretty like white pumpkin that I am using, um, until like Thanksgiving, I guess, or I get bored of it. I don't know. Um, this is from Destination Wax. This is Beach Nights. And Beach Nights is a marshmallow, beach fire, and ocean breeze. Not smoky, more marshmallow, less ocean breeze than beach bonfire. So, yeah, I don't really get that beachy note. I only went through um, one cube of it. I have this going in my bedroom at some point during the week. And it is good. It smells really nice. And there's that. This is Warung. I think that's how you pronounce it. 
from Destination Wax. It is Indonesian dark patchouli essential oil with chamomile tea and lemon. You guys, this is a beast. A beast, beast, beast. One cube of this in my half bath. I I'm not kidding. Four days. Four days. I don't ever shut that warmer off. And it probably could have gone longer. I was nervous about warming this. Not for myself. I mean, I knew I was going to love it. But because of the patchouli, sometimes my husband makes comments about patchouli scents. Um, no. Nobody said anything. The boys, my husband. I mean, that's really all who's here. This is so good. So, I believe what we're wrong, I think that's how you pronounce it. It's because it says Indonesian dark patchouli, I believe that that word means like a family owned business. I want to say, you guys, this is so good. So good. And just like opening the bag and smelling it, I instantly feel like so calm and like centered. Oh, it's so good. You definitely get patchouli. You get tea, for sure. Oh, this is so, so, so good. Um, maybe a tiny little hint of lemon. More. I smell the lemon more when it's warming, but not... It's not a cleaner lemon. It's just a fresh squeezed lemon that you would put in your tea. If I worked at a high school, I would warm this in my classroom. I think this is just, this would be a bit too much to warm in my classroom currently. So this will probably last me a really long time because like I said, one cube in that small bathroom. Um, I probably will try it in my bedroom. To me, not a scent I would put all over my house just because I don't want my family to complain about it. And then me feel like obligated to dump it because I really, really, really do love that scent. Okay, so we have some Scentsy. We will start with that first. I hope everybody had a great Halloween. If you celebrate, we did um, my youngest, who is 12, dressed up. He did go trick-or-treating. I'm so happy. I just feel like everything is so rushed when you're a kid that, you know, you're told like, oh, you're too old to do this or blah, 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 blah. Nope. He was all about it. He went trick-or-treating with a bunch of friends. I do have a tracker on his phone. So I knew where he was. I called him, you know, probably every 15, 20 minutes. <laughs> My husband and I stayed home and gave out candy. We just like set up in our driveway. Our neighbor from across the street came over and visited. We met another neighbor that I had never known before. She was out walking her dog. She came over and stayed with us for like an hour or two. Really nice. And then my oldest son, um, like I did his face. He wanted like face, his face done as a skeleton. I did that. And then he has, I really thought he was going to trick or treat. I mean, he is 15. Um, but he, him and a bunch of friends were at the park playing basketball and a lot of them kind of like, they just like dressed up and played basketball for a couple hours. So it's all good. That's what he decided to do. And it was just a nice, it was nice. It was pretty cool that night. Um, I put my Sensei Go out on the table and I, you know, it changes like colors and stuff. And I had, I think, a pumpkin roll going. Um which my husband keeps going on and on about how good it smells. Um, so that was kind of fun. Nobody really asked about it. I mean, it was just mostly the kids coming up and trick-or-treating parents didn't like come up to where we actually were. Anyway, I digress. I warmed through two bars of Halloween Town on Halloween all throughout my house. I had this, did I have this last year? I feel like I did. Um, it's cranberry, apple, and spiced cedar. I love cedar. This was such a beautiful combination with the cranberry and the apple. It was like kind of like a dark, mysterious scent. This would have been so much more perfect if Halloween was like a stormy kind of night. But 
that's fine. It was really, really good. Really enjoyed this, and these were two different um, labels here. I'm not, I, I can't save garbage. I just, I, I can't, I can't. I appreciate them, and I will have my videos to look back on if I'm ever wondering, like, what the Halloween Town bars looked like, but I can't save stuff like that. Warmed through a Winterberry apple tea. I think everybody and their mother love this. I am no exception. It's cranberry, apple, honey, and tea. I do not get honey in this, which I do not like in wax at all. Um, this is just a beautiful scent. I have it in like the Scentsy Soak. It's, oh, it's so good. It's strong. It's long lasting. I hope I have more of it. If not, I will order more because it is current in the catalog. You can still get Halloween Town as well. Um, just such a cozy, pretty, pretty fall and even, I mean, winter scents. Breakfast in bed. So here's the thing with this. I really liked the scent last year. Was it last year? It might've even been the year before. I, I was in my classroom all last year. I was only at home the initial shutdown. I can't, I can't even keep track. It just like all runs together. Um, but I know I liked this when it first came out. I warmed it in my classroom quite regularly and I really liked it. And people would comment and stuff like that. I don't think I love it anymore. It's, I know, here's the crazy part. It's too strong for me. I might have to try it again in my house. It's warm pumpkin pastry, black raspberry, and sweet cinnamon drizzle. It's so sweet. It's so much. I don't get pumpkin. I just get like a fruity, like puff pastry type of deal with this. And I think I have just like overdosed on this. Now, I will say, I... I don't know I've said this before and it's not going to make sense to anybody else, but I service, I meet with 10 groups a day of kids. So my groups vary from anywhere from three kids per group to seven kids because it is intervention. So the groups are small. Okay. So it's quite a bit of kids and it's every, I service every, you know, every half hour. I start my day with a group of fourth graders and then, you know, I have eight more groups. And then my last group of the day is another group of fourth graders. This group of the, my last class of the day of fourth graders, I have six, six kids and it's boys and girls. They come in and they always say to me, what's on the menu. And when they say that, they're asking me, what am I warming? They have already decided what their favorites are. They will come in and say like, well, when do you change your wax next? The next time you change it, can you put in blah, 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 or whatever. They love breakfast in bed and they also love, um, oh my gosh, I probably don't have it here because I had a couple cubes left at school. I can't remember, but it's one that went on clearance and then it sold out. Pear, apple pear cider or something, I think. Um, they love those. Love, love, love them. And whatever bars I currently have at school, they will ask if they can sniff them. You know, if I have like four bars that I'm, I have in rotation, they will ask to sniff them. They also asked if we could have a day where we're not doing intervention <laughs> and I could bring in all my wax, you guys. Can you bring in all your wax so we can sniff it? I said, you guys, we would need a couple days for that, okay? That's not something that we could accomplish in one session of you guys being here. So I am so excited that they care and they ask me what's warming. Um, but they love this. So for them, I continue to warm it, even though it's borderline, almost nauseating to me at this point. It is such a beautiful scent. It really is. It is. And I can't believe that I'm complaining that something is too strong, but there's that. Scary good. Here we are. We're at almost 15 minutes. Scary good. I did not give this a fair chance the first go around. 
This is pumpkin puree, fresh cinnamon, and butterscotch vanilla. I say I'm not the biggest fan of butterscotch in wax. I don't even really like love it in real life. Um, this was really good this last time. I think I warmed it on Saturday and I really did enjoy it. I really did. Mm. It's a very like fresh uncooked pumpkin is what I get now. I think when I first had it, maybe it was like too newly poured. I'm not sure, but I did like this and I would get another bar for sure. I really did like it. It was good. It was long lasting. Still current. You can get that. The Muppets, because I grew up watching the Muppets. Mm. So this is sparkling melon, cherry berry, sunny Valencia orange, and creamy vanilla. I love Valencia orange. I do like me some melon. Cherry berry, I was a little unsure about. But you guys, this was good. This really was. This is a, something um, on days that you have just had too much full, heavy scents. This was good. I love Fozzie Bear. I wish he was in one of the um, buddies. I would have totally bought it. Fozzie is my favorite. Um, this was good. It's not a powerhouse. This is not going to blow you out of your house. This I warmed in the classroom and I think maybe in Nicholas's room. It was good. It really was. Um, I would definitely get it again. Walnut Raisin Muffin. Cannot get this one anymore, but this is delicious. I already went through my, finished my brick of this. It took me a long time to get on board with this one and to warm it. But I do really love it. It's good. The, the more I warm it in different places, the more actual bakery scent I get from this. Before, it was just kind of like a sweet, sort of like plumpy raisin. Now, I definitely get bakery. Oh, it's good. This is good. Good, good. And I think I just needed to warm it in the right season. This is definitely like a full winter um, scent for me. And Spiced Ember Glow, which was new. One of the new releases for Full Wall Winter. It's smoked apple, toasted vanilla, and cinnamon embers. Yeah. Um, it, this is just okay to me. This isn't anything, like, to write home about, honestly. It is a very, very heavy, heavy cinnamon with embers. That's what you got. I really don't get apple. Um, it's like a red hot candies that you throw into a bonfire. That's what this does for me. I mostly warmed this in my husband's office. He didn't seem to mind. So then I went through one pod, one pack of pods in sea salt and avocado. I love this and everything. Um, Give me all the sea salt and avocado. This is great. These pods were in the boys' bathroom because, like I said earlier, previous videos, I took their warmer out and I just re I just started doing pods in there. And they're great. It's just not as strong. Or maybe I just haven't picked... Um, like, I have to actually be in their bathroom to smell the pods. With their wax, I just opened their bathroom door and I could smell it. So... I like it. This really lasted quite a long time. Um, kept their bathroom smelling fresh and clean. I just put their warmer back in. They're off. Pro they're not on parole. Is that the right word? They're not on probation anymore. I put the warmer back in, and we will see if we can get by without having any waxidents in their bathroom. But I really do. I am really enjoying the. Um, the pods for sure. The one that I was doing on Halloween, I have it in my kitchen right now in the Scentsy Go. What did I say it was? Pumpkin? I don't know. Some And it's strong. It is really, really strong. So location and I guess the actual scent is what will determine where I warm, where I place those. All right, that's it for Scentsy. I'll go over some bags. Um, I finished up a loaf. 
from L3 in Fruit Loops and White Elephant Exchange. So Fruit Loops is just that cereal scent, White Elephant Exchange, Powdered Donuts, Vanilla, Wafers, White Cake, and Vanilla Frosting. This was okay. I mean, it wasn't okay. This was good. I'm just, I think I'm just done with cereal for now. Um, I'll revisit again in the warmer weather. I think that that's just when I like this more. I don't know, but I mean, it was good. Um, definitely more Fruit Loops than I got the White Elephant Exchange. So there's that. From Rose Girls, this was Cranberry Muffin Carbs. This was really yummy, really yummy. Her carbs is like breads and cakes and cookies. And then mixed with like that super tart, tart, tart cranberry. Oh, I love cranberry in November. This was really good. I probably bought this last year. So I had like half a bag left. Really, really, really good. If you like cranberry, try Rose Girls. Another one from L3 in her trig tart, I believe. This was strawberry pound cake, espresso, and don't cross streams. This, oh my gosh, I don't, I love this in my bedroom. I don't know why, why espresso when I'm trying to go to sleep, but there's something very like soothing and calming. Her strawberry pound cake is good. And then of course mixed with um, don't cross streams. This was really good. Would I get it again? Yeah, possibly if it was like on the site when I was ordering wax, but yeah. Cookie Therapy Hufflepuff. Santa's on Keto Pretzel Sugared Shortbread. So this was from the Hufflepuff um, sampler. This was really good, you guys. I get like a saltiness, but I don't know that I would say like for sure that it's pretzel. Hufflepuff is like life. I, I love it so much. I have a loaf of it that I have not chopped yet. Um, oh, it's so good. So good. I've been very impressed with this sampler as a whole anyway. So really, really good. And then we have sunshot cups left. So I have one from Elf. I oh know this is from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is Summer Blossom. This was like a fruity floral. I had this in my bedroom, which I think the warm is like too big or my room is too big to, I, I put quite a bit of wax in that warmer. Um, I didn't really, I couldn't really smell this. Now on cold, it smells good, but um, yeah, it didn't really do it for me warming. All right, what else do we have? From Destination Wax, I have Cinnamon Raisin Bread. It is warm raisin bread swirled with cinnamon right out of the oven. And that's what this was. Mm, this was good. I had half of this going in the front room and then the other half of it going upstairs, like on the landing. Um, this was really yummy. Just exactly what it says. Cinnamon raisin bread right out of the oven. It was yummy without too much spice. Really, really like this. I would get that again. And then I think all the rest that I have is from uh, Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candle. So this was pumpkins. Oh, pumpkins in the fire. Yep. Like a charred pumpkin. Delicious. Not a ton of spice. Really, really like this. I like pumpkin all through November as well. Um, same with apple. <clears throat> and obviously cranberry. I try not to really, excuse me, I just have an ice cube in my mouth. I try not to really melt Christmas scents until after Nicholas's birthday. His birthday um, is right before Thanksgiving this year. Sometimes it falls on Thanksgiving. And it's the same thing with the tree. I always ask him, can the tree go up before your birthday or after? He likes it after, so I try not to do my Christmas scents until after his birthday. Uh, cookie butter crack. This is a popular one. This, I don't like, or at least I did not like this in my bedroom. Um, it didn't bother me while I was sleeping at all. 
I felt like a vanilla bakery. But when I got up in the morning and I was getting ready for work, it kind of was making me nauseous. So this, I, w I have more of it. I, this I wouldn't melt again in my bedroom just because of what it does to me in the morning. Like I said, it smelled good when I was like falling asleep and going to bed. This I would like cut in half and have it going like in my open concept area of the downstairs. Macintosh apple. Mm. Again, from Sugar and Spice. Delicious, straight up. Exactly what it says. It's Macintosh apple, no spice. Delicious. Very, very strong, long lasting. Another pumpkins in the fire. We already spoke about that. Cider donuts. Yes, this is good. This is definitely a good, a good cider donuts. Just a good, it's not overly spiced. It's not like overly that like fried <clears throat> note. Just perfect. Perfect. Love that. And then the last one is Leaves Marshmallow Fireside Noel. Mm, this is good. This is good. It's like um, Marshmallow Fireside, but mixed with some leaves. So, like, the best of both worlds. You get the leaves and, like, Fireside Marshmallow, Marshmallow Fireside. Really, really good. And again, strong. Yeah, this is a good one as well. Um, I put half of this in a tea light warmer and... Then the other half, I cut in half and had it going in two Scentsy warmers in my kitchen, and it's good. It was good. Really good. Okay, so that is it, you guys. Um, I have not been doing a melting basket. I'm just kind of going day by day, picking things, because sometimes I think I'm all geared up for, like, the heavy, like, winter, I mean, fall scents, and... And I want stuff that's more like fresh or maybe not so heavy full bakery kinds of things. So that's what I've been doing. What have you guys been melting? When do you plan on melting like winter heavy like Christmas scents? Um, I would love to know. And that is everything that I have for you guys this week. I hope you are all doing well and I will talk to you soon. Take care.